Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we have a new version of Microsoft Edge, of course, following the Google Chrome uh, update that brings Chrome to version 126. So this week is a threesome. It's Firefox 127, it's uh, Google Chrome 126, and now we have Firefox, uh, Firefox. We have Microsoft Edge 126, and uh, it is... Upper right corner, three horizontal dots, help and feedback, and about Microsoft Edge. And uh, this is, of course, uh, the latest version. Does it have a new, a lot of new features? Well, one of them is, of course, a uh, AI-generated uh, skin effect that could be on some of your versions. It's not on mine. It's not on every uh, every um, uh, Edge version, every PC. But it does have uh, the possibility to create uh, AI. You just, you know, kind of use a, a word and say what you want your, your browser to look like. And it's actually going to create a, a, a layout that goes with that. So uh, this is kind of cool. Apart from that, uh, there's new buttons. So when there's playback options, you're watching a YouTube video, Netflix, whatever, there are uh, controls that are available. They kind of tweak the controls to try to make them a little better. Uh, for the rest, it's security updates, the Chromium security updates, the 21 Chromium security updates. Pretty much all are in this version of Edge. So even if you don't really care about any features, just to stay safe, I think moving on to version 126 is not a bad idea. Uh, somebody asked me, why all these versions when there's almost nothing? You're totally right. I find that it's kind of a crazy war. It's like everybody has to move on. And because I'm this version and you need to be that version, it's like 127 must be better than 126. And it's like, you know, it's it's one of those weird things where you're like, yeah, come on. You could do two versions a year and just fix the bugs and it'd be fine. But uh, that's the way it is. And it follows, of course, Google Chrome. So it has to follow Google Chrome anyways because of the Chromium engine. So uh, check it out. Uh, like I said, if it's not for the um, features, uh, 21 security fl flaws that are fixed, I think that's kind of important to fix on Microsoft Edge also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.